Okay guys, welcome to another edition of Kombini Quest. It's a series where I go to a Kombini, a Japanese convenience store, and I try to find something kind of fun to try. Um, today I hit up the daily store. I know I don't go to the daily store that often, it's just there aren't so many of them around. There's mostly like 7-Eleven, Lawson, or I think Family Mart maybe has even more than Lawson, I'm not sure, but they, they those three are kind of the big three and they have a lot of stores around. Even though it's like noon here, what time is it? Yeah, it's 12.30 right now. A little sort of slim pickings, I would say, at the daily store. That's kind of my image of the daily store, to be honest. Um, but we did find something that you guys know that I like, which is a, a uh, spicy chicken curry is what I picked up. It's 470. Uh, 507 after tax and it's got rice it's got a strip of chicken which I guess is spicy chicken and then it's got curry unless it means the curry spicy but either way we're gonna find out so let me bring you in and show you exactly what this is like okay so yeah spiced spicy chicken curry and I did get it heated up I think she she overheated it Wow <laughs> see that steam coming off of there and I got a spork. Okay, so it's got one, two, three, four, five little pieces of, of chicken there. They're not nuggets, they're just, uh, I don't know what they are, pieces, they kind of maybe thigh or something. Um, there's a curry and there's some rice on this side here. I am a fan of Japanese curry, that's for sure. I don't know, I know there's there's better places to get it, like Coco's, etc., etc., but as far as the selection they had at this particular daily store, this was kind of the most appealing. So uh, let's dive right in here. I think I'm just gonna, yeah it is, you can, I don't know if you can see the steam coming off it. She did heat it up quite a bit, so hopefully I won't burn myself too bad. Let's uh, go for this chicken. Ooh. I wouldn't say the chicken was spicy. It might be that the curry itself has a little bit of spice in it, but uh, yeah, that was definitely a thigh, I say. I'm trying to be polite. It was a little chewy. <laughs> it was a little chewy. But uh, yeah, let's go for some rice and some of this curry, this roux. It's got like bits of onion and stuff sort of chopped up into it. That's pretty good. It's got a nice flavor. And that's definitely the, the roux that has the spice going on. Which is not to say that it's hot and spicy. It's just got this spicy spice flavor. <laughs> that makes sense. Like there's a lot of extra spice that they would put into the curry. But not particularly the curry spices. Like there's a lot of cumin and stuff like that. So... On that respect, it's not really a Japanese curry kind of taste. But then again, it's not quite an Indian curry. It's just a spicy curry. It has a unique flavor. It's, it's actually pretty good. Mm, I don't know about these bits of chicken though. But it is hitting the spot, that's for sure. Um, I was going to say it's really good on a cold day, but actually it's kind of a... It's cold, but where the sun is, is hitting down, it's, it's quite warm. I actually turned the car around so that I wasn't being blasted by sunshine. So I apologize <laughs> for the uh, very generic view behind us there. So overall, good flavor on the curry. What I could do is buy chicken from the, the sort of heat rack where they have the fried goods and add my own chicken to it. I think that would have been much better than what they provided here. But while I'm eating this, let me tell you about some good news. Do you remember the Pay It Forward snack project? I sent a box of Japanese snacks to uh, Who's Your Daddy? He sent it to Patty Joe Cooking. He sent it to the Dude's Kitchen. I know some of you have been following this. Um, well, the Dude actually sent it to another channel called uh, Smokin' Bears. Smokin' Bears, yeah. So... It's made it to its next destination, and I actually have a confession to make. It's, it's been at its 
next destination for a little while now. I just wasn't aware of it. Nobody told me that it had moved on and I was kind of like, what's going on? Where is, where is this package project? So I did a bit of research. Ah, I see. So the uh, recipient, Smoke and Bears, actually received it, I think it was at the end of summer and he posted a video. I didn't know, <laughs> but now I know, so I'm telling you guys, and I would love it so much if you guys would go check out his video. Um, he got his kids to unbox the stuff that the dude sent him. I know it's been a couple months, and I think in the, in the time that he posted it until now, um, he's actually having a few sort of health issues I'll say if you check his Instagram you'll find out more about that but I think it would really really kind of lift his spirits if you guys could go over there and just watch his video give him a thumbs up I know maybe it's you guys are kind of busy this time of year getting ready for Christmas but even if you just take a moment to go over there and thumb up his video um, that would be much appreciated thank you for your support in this project and hopefully soon we'll see it come back to me and then we'll be able to, to finish. It's, it's been, what, when did I send it out? February. So if we can get, get it done before February, we will have completed the circuit within a year. So I think that's a, a good goal. So I want to say thanks to the dude for sending that on. And I also want to say thanks to Smoke and Bears for posting his video. And thanks to you guys for checking it out. Um, you may notice a bit of a theme amongst <laughs> amongst all the participants in this project. Um, I think <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of chin whiskers <laughs> have been on display, and you'll notice maybe they get longer and longer as it goes on. However, who's your daddy? Did have a quite impressive beard to begin with. I guess it's appropriate since we got Christmas coming up. Um, but anyhow, yes, thanks for that. And today's beverage is something called Gun Gun Gert. Gun Gun Gert. So I'm hoping nobody milked a Gungan to get this, but the Gert portion is obviously a reference to yogurt, right? So it's kind of a yogurt drink. Now I know some of you have tried um, various drinks from Japan. I follow Drew's food reviews and I think he recently actually tried the Gun Gun Gert as well. So uh, I guess uh, here you go Drew, this is for you. So it's not, it's not carbonated um, as you would, well I was gonna say as you would hope but I mean I wouldn't put it past a lot of drinks to be like a carbonated yogurt. This is not carbonated though. So uh, before I drink this, I just want to do a cheers, a kampai to three more of my awesome Patreons who have supported me over there. And those three are Marcus Rudin, uh, Jeff Long, and James Joyce. So kampai and cheers to them. And also a special mention to Drew again for having tried this in the past. Kampai, Thanks, guys. Wow. That's really good. It it reminds me, and it, and if you look, if you can see the color there, it's an off white, like it's sort of a tan, almost a light light tan color. Um, it reminds me of you ever have those Yakult little tiny drinks? What are they called? They're good. They're supposed to be good for your stomachs. Probiotic drink or something? Is that what they are? It reminds me of that. A little sweet. A little. A little tangy, yogurty, but more like those little Yakult drinks. So if you ever tried the Yakult drinks, then that's pretty much what this is tasting like. This is a lot more quantity than those Yakult drinks are really small. So there must be a difference. <laughs> I'm sure this is not just one big Yakult drink, um, but really good. I like this. This is really, I don't know, it goes well. You, when you go to an Indian restaurant, they usually have yogurt as a kind of dessert, right? And this sort of yogurt, uh, coconut with little fruits in it, I think. Um, at least here in Japan. So it's a good match with the curry. Yes, well done. Gung Gung Gert. Okay, let's move on to the next segment of today's video. And that is the chip segment, I guess. Um, fried, fried mustard potato chips. Yeah, fried, fried mustard. A bit of glare there, fried mustard. 
So yeah, what is going on here? I just saw them in there and I'm like, you know I had to try these. Let's open these up. Woo! And there's not many in there, that's for sure. I didn't even think they were potato chips when I first, like, cause this is a small bag. I thought they might be like French fry shaped, but I don't know if you can see in there. They are definitely potato chips. No, I don't know. They look like a like processed snack in the shape of a potato chip, I would say, even though it does say potato chips here. Anyhow, let's give this a shot. Here we go. It's weird. At first, there's like this sweet, sweet taste. You see what I mean? They're like artificially formed. Um, sweet, sweet flavor. And then the flavor of mustard kicks in. I guess it's fried mustard. Okay, fried, fried mustard. Hmm. It's not like a spicy, spicy mustard. In fact, it's more like a yellow mustard. Um, but first you're getting this sweet flavor and then this kind of mustard thing kicks in a little bit. So overall, it's not bad. It's just weird, but I am kind of glad it's a small bag, to be honest. Um, yeah, they're okay. They're okay, I guess. And finally, for dessert, we got this. And it was on sale, yay. <laughs> so, was it 226 minus 50 yen, so 176, I guess. A light, a light fluffy waffle. And that's not ice cream in there, that's cream. Four pieces, and they're marketing it as a Christmas thing. For the sort of lack of selection of uh, lunch, lunch, uh, products they did have a decent spread of kind of sweets in there lots of cakes and puddings and things like that but this uh, kind of caught my eye let's uh, crack this open oh, that looks pretty good doesn't it and I just yeah these are really really soft Let me pull one out here so it's just a waffle a waffle but it's a fua fua very soft and fluffy waffle kind of like a cake and inside, it's got some kind of cream going on there. It just looks like a regular vanilla cream. So uh, yeah, here we go. This is what I like about this series. Normally, I probably would never buy this, <laughs> but I'm glad that I did. This is really, really good very very soft waffle I mean it's not just pure cream there's something going on in there it's a little thicker consistency but uh, that's really really good mm. so I'm just debating whether I should eat another one of these I mean I totally could um, I probably shouldn't eat them all not that that isn't an option but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the rest for later I think this would be awesome for breakfast, maybe. Um, so I'm gonna put those aside. I just wanna say thanks to you guys for watching today. Let me know what you thought of the stuff that I picked up at the Daily Yamazaki today. Did you think it sounded good <laughs> or not? <laughs> um, and also, I just wanna say thanks to you guys for watching as well as going over to Smoking Bear's video. Check out his video see the stuff that he unboxed over there that was sent by the dude and maybe show him a little bit of love so I want to say thanks for doing that thanks for supporting this whole package project um, I'm looking forward to seeing where we end up before February we'll try to we'll try to wrap it up before February I hope um, so on that note I want to say thanks again for watching if you're new here please subscribe to the channel also, please thumb up this video and don't forget to ring that dinner bell so you don't miss the next video. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.